Okay, the stain, like it's not a stain, it's just a clear like protection to protect it from stains is on. Has to dry for two hours and they say to do three coats, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do one coat. So <sighs> catch back with you guys, I think tomorrow and we'll finish this. Okay, hi guys. It is the second day and I just started to build my benches for my dining table that you guys saw me build yesterday. But today I wanted to kind of take you into detail on how exactly I built the dining table. So I just built the first bench right here and I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. And it's basically the same steps for the table. The only difference is, is that the table has six pieces of wood and the benches only have three. So if you're building the table, all you would need to do differently is have six pieces of wood and these would need to be bigger to fit six pieces of wood as you guys saw yesterday okay so to build this I'm just using wood obviously and then I found these like legs that you guys saw when I was building the dining table I found them on Amazon they're actually pretty cheap I'll link that in my description box but I believe for the table I did 28 inches and they were only $55 for the four legs but for the benches I believe they were $35 again I'll link it down below because I don't want to be wrong and I got the 16 inches so this is kind of what they look like they're called hairpin legs so we're gonna be using that to kind of give us as you can see the benches but let's get started so I already sanded these pieces of wood because you're gonna want them sanded so no one gets splinters or anything and then after I'm done building it I'll just do one more layer of sanding so for the measurements I didn't really take it seriously I kind of just have this piece of towel that I was using to decide on what I wanted for my kitchen and I kind of just went ahead and I placed it right here and then I pushed the wood to kind of look like that and then I just kind of eyeballed it and put these in the center of the three pieces and that's what I'm gonna be doing for both this side and over here and then for the center to measure we'll do that in a bit but this is what we've got so far so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to be using one and a half inch screws and i'm going to be screwing both of the outside boards in, and then we'll screw this piece in last okay so you're going to definitely need a drill i was using the hand screwdriver thingy majingy to screw the table in yesterday and it really was not good it sucked and my hands hurt so let's go ahead and screw these in Okay, so I'm only gonna put three screws in right now because when we add the legs, it's gonna add a lot more support. So that's all we really need. And now let's head on to the other side. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, so now that the support boards are screwed in, it's time to add the legs. So the legs did come with screws. The only problem is that they're a bit smaller than my one and a half inch screws. So I decided to use the longer ones just so it has a little bit more support. So that's what I'm gonna use to screw these in. It's pretty simple. I just decided to line it up on the edges right here so I didn't have to do any measurements. And then you just screw them in with the drill. Okay, now we're just gonna repeat that process for the last three legs and then we're basically done. Okay guys, I literally forgot to do the middle support even though I was just talking about it. So basically for the middle support, I'm just gonna screw four nails here, here, and just one in the center because the center doesn't need too much support since the main supports are on the outside. So I'm just gonna lay it down in the center between both one and two and that's where I'm gonna screw it. Lastly, it came with these little like knobs that you put right here just so it doesn't slide. So we're gonna quickly do that. Okay, now we're just gonna flip our bench and it should be secure. Okay guys, so this is the finished bench. It literally took me 15 minutes to make, no joke. Last thing I have to do is just do a quick little sand and then add the finished polish, which I will include a picture up here of what it is. Um, but I don't really need to show you guys that because you already saw me sanding and it's pretty basic. And the clear coat, you also saw me do that. So just do that. Yeah, bench is done. Last thing I need to do is decorate the table, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because it's getting dark out and also I'm tired. <laughs>
but i'll see you guys tomorrow okay guys so it is the next day and this is how the table turned out ignore the paint stuff right there we're repainting our entire house from this ugly brown color to white but yeah this is the table it turned out so beautiful i love like the rustic look <laughs> we already got some use out of it i have to wipe down the table but this is the finished table so i got a few decorative pieces for our dining table i knew i wanted to keep it very simple but also i wanted to give it just a pop of like bohemian something vibes if you know what i mean so i got these actually gifted to me they're just these wicker table mats and i got six of them i'm only gonna use four but i just wanted to place them in the center of the table like that so it just is in the center and i got this pompous grass from amazon on. I'll make sure to link it down below and I had these extra vases for my wedding and I think it just looks so cute and so simple I didn't want a lot of decor on my table because like I said, I want it to be simple But this is so cute like what? Just take a moment to appreciate I think it's gonna look so good when the walls are all painted white We already have the paint that is a vlog for <laughs> coming up don't know when but the walls are gonna be nice and white i want to make my own um i want to make my own wall decor for this wall right here i want to make my own wall decor i'll post pictures on the screen of what i'm wanting to do it's gonna look so good maybe something like right here yeah i just love the table it turned out so beautiful i'm literally obsessed so i wanted to like hop on here and have a little chit chat with you guys basically for the dining table like guys you should do it like it literally i think it ended up costing for the two benches and the table around $200 to make and the table inspo that I had I'll put a picture up here of it it was from Structube for like $700 and it was just the table and like I literally built it on my own for $200 okay guys I'm changing locations to my bedroom but basically I want to continue what I was saying um yeah so I just love it so much more and I want to say like a huge thanks because my sister-in-law she helped me so much like I literally wouldn't have been able to do this without her she was like literally such a big help and i'm so appreciative for her i just wanted to mention that she helped me so much even like uh, the guys helped us screw some nails in the table when we didn't have a good saw a uh, good drill i mean so i just wanted to mention that but yeah i just wanted to hop on here and say that that being said there are so many home renovations that i've been in the process here's like a sneak peek i redid my fireplace it used to have this really like ugly brown like tile on it but i just put like marble on top i painted like the top of it black the house is coming along we got a new couch some new living room stuff and I'm just so excited for you guys to see that. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up because there's a lot of home renovations coming and really affordable home renovations. So keep an eye out and turn on my notifications so you guys see it when I post it. And that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.